This is Mike Lingle, and today I'm going to talk about financial projections and how to create them for your startup. And specifically, we're going to tackle uh, how to map out your headcount for the next three years. You know, we always hear from people that they need to create their financial projections, but they're not sure how to do it. They're not numbers people. Uh, they don't know how to work with spreadsheets, uh, or it just takes a lot of time. So we've been spending uh, some of our time creating some tools, and we're actually running a boot camp uh, about financial projections. And one of the tools we've created is a quick spreadsheet template. So this is what the headcount tab looks like. And we have some other tabs here uh, that we'll introduce during the boot camp. But the start here tab um, is a quick way to jump in and see your assumptions. So you can change anything in blue. You can see all three years are mapped out. Uh, and it's very easy to change these numbers. And it generates uh, a pitch deck slide. So that's the next tab, and you can just copy and paste this right into your pitch deck. Every time you update the model, you can change these assumptions. And then it also drives an income statement tab uh, that shows you your sales funnel, your revenue, your cost of sales, your expenses. Uh, expenses are divided up into sales and marketing, research and development, general administrative. Uh, and then gives you an EBITDA, and uh, you can even include CapEx if you're doing any kind of hardware company. And then the Headcount tab is tied in, and this uh, maps out um, three years worth of Headcount. So you can see the three years here, 12 months for each year, and you can see the positions here, so I'll zoom in. And again, the way you set this up is you only change the things in blue, so this keeps it easy. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to say that everyone's making 75k a year. So you just enter 75. So that means 75 thousand dollars a year. And your start month. So since you're the CEO, uh, you're going to start month one. Now let's say you have a partner who's a CTO. That person can also start at month one. Again, I'm just making everyone's uh, salary 75 thousand. And you'll see the months that. That person is working is filled out in green with a dollar amount for what they're taking home that month. Uh, and let's say you have a growth marketer who's going to start in month three. You just map that out. They go right into the sales and marketing bucket, whereas your two C-suite people went into the GA bucket. Uh, let's say your product's going to be ready month six, so you're going to hire a uh, you're going to hire a salesperson. You're going to hire a salesperson uh, in month eight let's say, to run sales for you. You can see that person fills in in green. Uh, you may have a lead developer who's going to start, you know, your CTO can have a look for the first four, three or four months, so month four, you have a lead developer, uh, and then you're going to add another developer in month 13, which is the start of year two. And then maybe you have a customer support person who's starting in month seven. And we also left space if you want to talk about uh, international expansion. You know, you can change any of these titles. Uh, you can add your own name uh, or other people's names if you know who's going to fall the position. And again, what this generates is a three-year plan. So you can see in green, that's where I have someone working. Uh, and it gives you a budget that you can work off of, and it also uh, gives you a plan that you can talk to investors about. And the dollar amounts are right here, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually see it totals everything up for you. So here's the salary totals, but above that I can see the salaries broken out into cost of goods sold, sales and marketing, R&D, Same thing for the headcount. You can see I have, uh, in the case of a uh, software as a service company, Customer support would be cost of sales or cost of goods sold. So that's my support person. Here's my salesperson. Here's my two marketing people. And here's my two uh, founders. So it gets broken out, uh, tallied into headcount, and then you can track um, revenue per employee. Uh, and you can compare that against industry averages. So that's the worksheet. Uh, we're going to make this headcount worksheet available to you so you can play around with it and map out the headcount for your company for the next three years. And again, this entire spreadsheet, which is designed to be really simple to use, um, you just go here to the Start Here tab and fill out the things in blue and everything else gets filled out for you, including the pitch deck slide. Uh, we're introducing that as part of our um, Financial Projections Bootcamp, so you can check that out. 
Uh, we also have some great blog posts and a mini course available. You know, so if you want to do it yourself or if you want our help, either way, we have information available for you. Uh, and leave us any comments, uh, questions in the comments, or find us on the web. We're happy to answer questions or provide more information if you need it. So thanks so much, and good luck with your financial projections. Again, this is Mike Lingle.